And again, excited to be with you all this morning. It is always vulnerable, but it's always such a pleasure of mine as well to share the songs that God has given me. It amazes me that I can sit in the quiet secret space of my home office slash studio and then come and sit before a group of people such as yourselves and share what God has just done in my heart in my own private writing time. Um, I say often to people that I songwrite much like many of you might journal. They just come out of my life, out of the things that God has shown me, maybe a revelation about who he is, um, about my kids, my husband, my marriage, and, and other people. God just gives me all sorts of influences that, that make their way into song, and then I get to share them with you. Um, as Margie said, I am a, a wife and a mom. I've been married for almost 14 years, and I have three boys who are 11, 9, and 6. So that alone keeps me very busy, and sometimes, you know, I'm sure all of you, we're, we lead these busy lives, and we think, God, how, you know, are you sure you want me to be doing this too? I've got so much going on. But then I'm reminded, you know, his strength is made perfect in my weakness. And where I come up short, God can come up strong. And he continually has been faithful in that way in my life. Um, this morning, I'm going to share with you a few songs and tell you a little bit about each song because your focus is on the psalm and it's on the song and what motivates the song, what's behind the song. I think David is such a great... Um, person for us to remember when we come before God because he makes it safe for me sometimes what if I'm feeling guilty for saying God where are you I remember David said those very words God have you forgotten me and David was called the one after God's own heart and so I can remember that God first and foremost wants us to be human he wants us to be real he wants us to lay before him everything that's in front of us in our life. And so I hope that in these songs today you can hear some of that from me and they would encourage you to see, a, see the heart and the character of God a little more clearly. This first song I'm gonna share is probably, if not my favorite, one of my favorite songs to share um, because it comes from that place in my heart. It's a song I wrote for my kids when I was, I was like eight months pregnant with my third son. And I remember saying to God, I, that was a surprise baby. And I remember saying to God, surely you will not surprise me with a third boy. And let alone, it was a third boy. And it's been the most awesome, awesome thing. I love, I love my third boy so much. But God knew what he was doing. Um, but we were in a situation in life where during that time, um, my husband and I, we were facing some really, really challenging circumstances. And I remember knowing as an adult and knowing the journey that I'd walked, the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God. God, I know you're going to see us through this. I know you are, but I want to protect my kids, and I want them to know your goodness so that when they go through life, they can remember. They can maybe listen to a song I wrote for them and remember, God is good. Even though I'm walking through this hard circumstance, God is good. His faithfulness remains. And so this song is called Come Back to Love. Child, the love of my life. 
to love. 